What's happening? What's up? What's up, YouTube? What's up, YouTube? Yo, I had to go ahead on and do a video for y'all for the holidays real quick. You know, excuse me, I'm kind of bummy, you know what I mean? I ain't got all my jewelry on. I'm just kind of, you know, I just left the Waffle House, man. You know what I'm saying? I was hungry this morning. I'm on my early morning, you know, vibe. Um, everybody hit the like button, you know, share, subscribe, you know what I mean? Comment dislike whatever makes you you know whatever floats your boat but check this out let me see i got this you know oh shit hold on hold on see i need to get my my phone situation i'm trying to prop this up all right so i can talk to y'all real quick i got a quick message you know all right betrayal is good for you okay let me tell you why betrayal is good for you hold on real quick shameless plug you know, check out my clothing brand, you know, Aruko brand, that's the pharaoh right there, you know, for the god, and that's the goddess, you know what I mean, the winged goddess holding up the earth, you know, so it's all divine energy, you know what I mean, you know, for my kings and queens out there, you know, my emperors, my empresses, my high priests, and my high priestesses, you know what I mean, my hierophants out there, you know, all my high vibrational kings and queens, all my high vibrational brothers out there, wishing you guys love and light during this holiday season. Especially if you like me, you got any uh, Native American in your blood, you know, I'm, a, I'm mainly Cherokee. So, you know, we already know what's going on uh, with that. So Thanksgiving time is like the time of the Trail of Tears. You know what I'm saying? And um, if you're a believer in Jesus, you believe in Christ like I am, um, not necessarily that I'm a Christian. Um, and this message is not getting on the religious. Well, when you talk about betrayal, I'll get into it a little bit later. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, being called a Christian was actually a derogatory term from the, you know, the Romans at the time. You know, they were calling them Christians, Christians, you know. There goes those Christians, you know, believing in Jesus and the Messiah and the prophecies of, you know, the the one to come and God's son and son of man. There goes those believers. So when you are calling yourself a Christian, a Christian, it's almost like calling yourself the N word in today's days and times. You know, it's a derogatory term for believers. All right. But if you are a follower, follower of Christ, the Krishna, Buddha, Hinduism, you know, Allah, Jesus, you know, Yahweh, whatever you believe in, you know what I mean? If it's helping you get to the light and the positivity, I'm all for it. So just saying that to you right there, um, sending love and light and positivity to you. Blessings. Um, so getting back to the message about betrayal, all right? Betrayal is good for you, okay? Here's why. Now, once you, like, just the same way Jesus and the 12 disciples sat down, they had the Last Supper, and Jesus knew who Judas was. He knew that Peter was going to um, forsake him three times. He knew, just like when he went to the mountaintop, he only took three of his disciples with him. You know what I mean? I want to say it was John, Peter. I can't remember all the all the disciples he took to the mountain with him, but he had 12 disciples. Why didn't he take all the disciples with him to the mountaintop? Because he knew when he was going to that rarefied air, when he was going to fulfill his prophecy and going to meet God, you know, just like we have to do in our, in our lives individually, we have to meet the requirements that God wants for us in order for God to give blessings down on us, you know, the universe, whatever you call it, you have to fulfill certain requirements in order for you to get your desirements. You see what I'm saying? So in order for you to get your blessings, you have to do the work. You know what I mean? Faith without works is dead. So you have to do the work to get the blessings in order to fulfill the prophecies in your life. Okay. So that's why you know what I mean? Betrayal is good for you. And again, like I was going to say, Jesus, when he went up to the top of that mountain to go, you know, speak with God, he only took three of his homies with him. He didn't take all 12 of the disciples because he knew all 12 of them didn't have that faith that they really needed, especially Judas. So we get back to the 12, you know, to the, uh, 
you know, to the Last Supper and everything else. He knew that one of them was going to betray him. He knew who. And, you know, Judas betrayed Jesus for some chump change. You know what I'm saying? Like 40 shekels of silver or something like that. Something real cheap. You know what I mean? Like in comparison to life like this necklace. You know, this necklace is, is in in our dollars and cents terms, it's not cheap. But in the sense of the creator and what God wants for our lives, this necklace right here is cheap. But guess what? Somebody will betray you so that they can get one of these for themselves because they ain't got one. You see what I'm saying? They'll see you wearing your gold and jewelry and your diamonds and you shining like a diamond from inside and the outside. And they'll hate on you, you know what I'm saying? Because you shining so bright and they not. Because they don't have that divinity. They really don't have that special stuff that God gives his chosen people to really manifest that, you know, so they'll, they'll try to maybe manipulate people's minds on a lower level. But when they meet people like you, people like me, people like us, they have a hard time, you know, with those little manipulation tactics. So they'll try to alter, they'll try to uh, slander your name with people and they'll, they'll condition it the same way a good gardener will, will nurture his crops before the harvest uh, is the same way that a narcissist or you know just a low vibrational manipulative being will nurture the you know in a bat in a reverse type of way reverse nurturing the people around you and around them to slander your name to prepare them to just to betray you or to treat you very bad to persecute you they will prepare people and condition people to persecute you and to talk down on your name and to talk to talk down about you when the time is right when it's ready for them to benefit they'll put you in their own very own matrix that's like people that you know if you're dealing with somebody you know and they like let's say if you're a man you know and you you know divine masculine you a man and you sitting here you're dealing with a woman and she may be putting out divine feminine energy but she really not a divine feminine and you know so she what she'll try to do is you might not catch it because you so vibrated high you might not catch the little deceit or the way that she's really uh discriminatory against you or the way that she's really what's the word like disrespecting you or talking down on you within her compliments how she's hiding her disrespect and her compliments for you you know what I'm saying? Or how she'll, you know, she'll run and tell people, oh, I'm dealing with so-and-so. You know what I mean? Because she knows that your reputation is so, you know, you're so quiet. You're so uh, standoffish. You're like a lone wolf. You don't really mix with a lot of people. So she'll throw that out there that she's dealing with you just to get some feedback from other people about you. Because she only sees you in a certain way and she hears about you from you. And so she want to know what's the dirt on you or what people think about you or what people would think about you if they were dealing with you and, you know, her and stuff like that. So she'll throw your name out there to get the hate on you because she knows people going to hate on you. So she's going to get all that to, you know, fill her confidence up so that she can truly betray you and put that knife in your back real good and, you know, nice and in that right area, you know what I mean, to really try to hurt you, hurt your reputation, hurt you emotionally physically maybe even maybe even put false you know uh information out there about you false legal you know cases all types of shit so you know what i'm saying and the same thing like you know men if you are dealing with a woman you know what i'm saying and you got your homeboys around you who's jealous and they know you over here having your way with this this woman she's cooking for you cleaning for you rubbing your feet you know what i'm saying doing all this type of stuff affectionate things that they wish they was having on top of the section you know what i mean they might sit back and be like jealous like damn you know what i'm saying i want that i want to have that girl i want to have a girl dealing with me like that and and treating me like a king and because they not getting that you know a lot of a lot fellas a lot of if this is a surprise to you a lot of your homeboys, if you're dealing with a woman, a lot of your homeboys want to have, they want to fuck the girl that you fucking. You know what I mean? And same thing for you ladies. Ladies, a lot of your homegirls, they want to fuck that man that you fucking. You know what I mean? They want to fuck that high vibrational divine masculine. You know, men, they want to fuck that high vibrational, you know what I'm saying, divine feminine. You know, where even if they are portraying that they're a high, a high vibrational divine masculine, or they are portraying that they're a high vibrational divine feminine, 
they want to have interactions and encounters with that person. A lot of people out here that you call your friends or your brothers or sisters want your person that you're dealing with. You know what I mean? So when that betrayal hits, because if you if you are so in tune with loving the moment of what you're doing and dealing with a person and you see, you know, you see the fuck shit coming, but you don't really pay too much attention to it because you don't like to tune in to the hater energy out there. You know what I mean? You just let the spidey sense come at, you know, you, you know, click in when you need it to click in. What's going to happen is you're not really going to see the betrayal when it comes. But when it does come, it's good for you. And here's why it's good for you, right? You need to know when to see, when to cut these people off. You need to know when to see them coming before they before they get too close. You need to know when you out there, out and about, and you see people and you're like, oh, yeah, he going to be a hating ass nigga. I'm not fucking with him. Or, oh, yeah. You know, she looked like she a hating ass bitch. I ain't fucking with her. You know what I mean? This is a hating ass hoe. She ain't happy. You know what I mean? You need to see that. You know what I mean? So you don't get too close in dealing with these people. So you don't get it too intertwined and intertangled up and get in. What is what is it Jada Pinker said? Uh, entanglement? Yeah. <laughs> Yo, hit the like button, man. So you don't get caught up into no entanglement with these people. You know what I'm saying? Because these entanglements is, you know, where you get caught up, lost in the sauce, loving, you know, feeling yourself in the moment and thinking that you're doing something special. Especially if you're just sitting back fornicating with a person you ain't building. They ain't got no plans for the future for you or nothing like that. But you sitting here and, you know, thinking about this person and wanting the best for them. You know, you can almost be sure that portrayal is going to come in. You know what I'm saying? Because people that just want to play around with you, play around in your energy and they don't really want to take you serious because they think that they're, you know, too important for that or they ain't got time for that. Excuse me. Excuse me one second. Yeah, my bad, my bad. Excuse me. Yeah, but they ain't got time for that, you know what I'm saying? You know, committing to you and things like that. Or, you know, you you trying to put your people on. You know, you got a business plan. You're trying to put your people on. And, you know what I mean? You put them in a position where they can, you know, potentially build off of something that you invested in to give them an opportunity to be a partner of yours and they fuck it up. You see what I'm saying? It, 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 this, this type of energy, this betrayal energy, you know, it's Judas energy. It's succubus energy. You know what I mean? It's it's people, you know, it's Jezebel spirit energy. It's people that think that they are greater than the opportunity. They think they're better than you. And they don't like the fact that you've got the nerve to actually believe in yourself. Or you've got the nerve to love unconditionally. You've got the nerve to love these people, you know, where they're at and give them an opportunity to really get to know you. They don't like that. They don't like that, you know, you got the nerve to actually love from within your heart. You know what I mean? Endlessly. Because they truly don't love themselves. And they also see what you have and they don't see the work that you put in. They don't see the tribulations that you've gone through to get to where you're at. You know what I mean? So they, they, they just see what your abundance and your blessings and the things that you have and they just want that without going through none of the struggle and strife to get to where you're at. You see what I'm saying? So they think you're lucky. They think you don't work for what you got. They think you're blessed. They think it's just genetics. You see what I'm saying? They don't really appreciate your struggle. And they don't think that your struggle is all that. They don't care about your sob story or, you know, none of the stuff that you've been through. Hey, hit the like button and share this to your friends. You know what I mean? So, you know what I mean? Like, you're going to have a lot of people out there that, you know, they're filled with this sucker type of energy. You know what I mean? And they're going to be hating on the fact that you got it like that. 
you know, so that betrayal is good for you so that you can see them coming when they come so you can know, nah, I don't need to deal with her. She's going to be, a, you know, this is a hating asshole or nah, I don't need to deal with him. You know, he's just trying to, he just want what I got. He's a copycat. You know what I mean? This he's, he's a, he's a false brother. You know what I mean? He's a false brother. He ain't really trying to, you know, be down with no type of movement. You know, he wants to be, he wants glory. You know what I mean? He's willing to run over anybody to get it. A lot of women are like that too, willing to use and run over anybody to get it. And a lot of times for you men out there, because see, a lot of women see through this shit, but men, you don't see through this shit. A lot of times you'll be dealing with a woman that's broke. She ain't got nothing, but she putting on a good front. She putting on a good front on social media. She's pretty. She's putting out good pictures. Um, you know what I'm saying? She she might even have some jewelry and things like that and make it look like she's doing something. Mixed it in with some old pictures from when she used to be, you know, having or when she used to be lighter or when, you know what I mean, lighter when she ain't used to have as much body weight on her, when her body used to look a little different, when, you know, she ain't have as much weight around her neck and jaw area, you know what I'm saying? When she didn't used to look like, you know what I'm saying, um, Jerome Bettis and shit like that. And, um, yo, hit the like button. And you know what I'm saying? She'll mix those in with some, uh, you know, pictures of her currently, but she won't be in the same position in some of those old photos. And this is what they call catfishing. But, you know, it's like they're not really catfishing on their body because, you know, on a sexual level, they still get, you know, plenty of men to be like, oh, she's bad. You know what I mean? But she knows she's not really how she used to be. She ain't got the energy. She, you know, she ain't really going to the gym like she need to be. And so her body ain't like she wanted to be. But, you know, for a lot of low level vibrational men that's just living in there, you know, downstairs, you know, with their little brain, not their big brain, you know, and they got things going on. These women will come in, act like they, you know, they'll do the whole routine, rubbing the shoulders, making sandwiches and, you know, trying to really get this man to fall in love with them just so that they can take from this man, you know, whatever he got, you know, whatever little things that he got going on or just try to get some clout for the moment to be next to this man. And you know what I'm saying? You know, but the sex will have these men confused thinking that this is a real person that's really, you know, uh, riding with him, you know what I mean? And the next thing you know, she'll take that little bit of clout and run back with the nigga that she had really liked or, you know, she, uh, got a she was she got a lot of these women out here got kids and you don't even know it and because they were so fucked off when they was younger the fathers got the kids and they still cool with the fathers but these women is out here some rogue they rogues they rogues and what i mean by rogues is you know they they won't obey you know no type of a man but they'll use men like jezebel they'll use men here and there and run them around like little pawns so that they can run game out here and be rogue rebellious you know renegades you know what I mean? Just playing dudes for their money. And they'll they'll get these, you know, they'll get some money and give some money to the, the ex-baby daddy and give some money to the little gangbanger, you know, trick dude that she knows. Or, you know, give some money, you know, to, to some lame dude. Like, you know what I mean? So, you know, you got to protect your energy, but also protect your resources when you're dealing with some of these women kings, all right? Because a lot of these, a lot of these women is out here just waiting to set you up you know what I mean? They going they want to set you up to play, to you know what I mean? They going to set you up to get rode on or told on. You know what I mean? And you need to just know what type of women these is. You know, these are the type of women that will be out here running around with these so-called gangbangers and then next thing you know because they can't control you because you see through their bullshit, they'll run to court and put all types of, you know, phony cases on you and shit. And have you looking crazy out here in the streets like you chasing them and shit like that and make you look like you psychotic. Meanwhile, they just go into court because, you know, especially if you black, if you if you this isn't, you know, the police is just can't wait to hear some uh, bullshit about you. You know what I mean? So they. Yeah. What did you say? Oh, and he did. What else? What else did he do? Oh, yeah. OK. And they sit there and make up a whole goddamn uh, fiction novel about your life. <laughs> <laughs> yo, I can't, man. Yo, listen, man. Hey, it's the holiday season. I know a lot of y'all out here might not have nobody, 
but just know if you got God, and this is the number one thing, if you got God or love or some positivity in your heart, all of this loneliness and stuff really ain't hitting you like that, you know, because this loneliness is only really hitting you when you need somebody to, to continue to manipulate, you know what I'm saying, so you can contemplate your next move in life. But if you got God, you know that your next move is always on the horizon. Just keep doing the next right thing. I love y'all, man. I really do. And I wish you guys nothing but love and light and peace, okay, and happy holidays. God bless.